Today, increased attention to a deadly public health crisis. We're not talking about coronavirus, rather opioid addiction. Good evening, I'm Hannah Deneen. In 2020, more than 500 people died from drug overdoses in Maine, a state record. Today is National Drug Take Back Day, when law enforcement agencies ask people to clear their cabinets of old or unwanted medications. News Center Maine's Sam Rogers shares why this is a critical step in addressing Maine's opioid crisis. Today we're doing the National Drug Take Back Day. Um, we do it every six months, usually in the same parking lot. We sponsor these types of events all across the state where people are able to walk up and just dump all of their unused medications or their expired medications and then we can dispose of them safely. If they're bringing them here and they're taking them off the street, so that's certainly a benefit to everyone in the town and around. And we also worry about children getting into medicine cabinets and finding these unused pills and, and being hurt by what could happen if they take them. And then there's the issue of, are you disposing of them safely? If you put them in a, you know, your well or the septic system or something, it could technically be a, that could be a bad thing too. These events taking place not just in Orono and Holden, but all across Maine as the state continues to battle opioid addiction. Last year, 503 Mainers died of a drug overdose. In January alone, 58 people died of a suspected or confirmed overdose. National Drug Take Back Day also gives these officers the chance to get drugs off the streets while connecting with their community. Have a good day. It's much better than having to take some sort of an enforcement action, yeah. So it's nice when the people walk up, they chat for a few minutes, they drop off what they have, and they thank us for what we're doing. We're very involved with the community, so it is a wonderful opportunity for us to maybe have a little bit of dialogue and speak with folks. Even after Saturday, local police departments will still take your unused or expired medications. Literally any time people can drop off drugs at the Holden Police Department and you don't have to be from Holden for us to accept your unwanted prescriptions. Prescriptions for drugs that will be taken off the streets for good. Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine. You don't have to wait until the next take back day to drop off old or expired medications. Find the closest drop off location to you open 24 seven by visiting takebackday.dea.gov.